Hey, it's on, it's on, it's coming on. White CD, white chocolate Denzel, but he keeps his face straight. I gotta respect that. <laughs> this is my ugly sweater for Christmas. <laughs> I bought him at a pawn shop back in 2010, I think. I got both boxes for 80 bucks. I got that for uh, 500 bucks. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. The history of sports cards goes back over 100 years. We are on the pursuit to find the biggest and most interesting sports card collections across the United States. Join us as we travel the large interstates and the narrow unpaved roads in our journey to continue chasing cardboard. All right, so we're here in Las Vegas pursuing a lead on a collection that's a little bit different than what we're used to. We're gonna go see a Tom Brady collection and a lot of times we don't find big player collectors that want us to come in and film, but we're gonna go see a collection today that might be one of the better Tom Brady collections. It's the GOAT, it's Tom Brady. So I wanna go take a look, I wanna go learn from this guy and I'm hoping we can walk out with a few goodies. How was that? Uh, it's a little underwhelming. Get out of here. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas. What do you know about Rob? What, what's important for us to kind of take into consideration? Um, you know, Rob is a, he's been a customer of mine for a very, very long time. Okay. Um, and he's just a he good still guy. He like a hipster, by the way. You know that little like. <laughs> Really? So Rob's got a crazy Tom Brady collection. Uh, I mean, he focused on maybe the only guy in football cards that has been consistent the last decade. You've seen some good collections, man, but like, what is it about collecting a guy like Tom Brady? It makes it so difficult for the normal person to do. Well, but here's the thing, and that's what I was gonna say. It's like, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think he's, he told me, I mean, he started um, at a point, I believe, where Brady was good already, but wasn't Brady, right? Yeah. And so that's the only way I think you really get into that position, take right? Got a shot on a guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just, I think he got in before he was, he was as good as he is, you know? All right, Tom Brady time. All right, let me just get ready to Buy some cards. <laughs> Don't screw this up. <laughs> Rob. Hi. Hi. How are you? Rob. Good, good to meet you. Marcel, what's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How good are you? See you man. That was a cool. warmer handshake than mine. Was that, yeah, yeah, that was, was a little that. bit better, right? Yeah. Come on in. Is it Tom Brady in. time? It's Tom Brady time. Yeah. Come on in. Look at this beautiful house. This oh, thanks. Incredible. This is everything. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. The whole collection. This is it, huh? This is you it. You act like that's not a lot. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Tom Brady over there, and then uh, Gronk stuff and Russell Wilson. Okay. A lot of 2012 quarterbacks. Um, it's all it's all football, pretty much. I think I have a uh, Tiger Woods um, golf cart over there. I think that's the only <laughs> other thing. <laughs> yes, I, I want. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Just started collecting in 2008 after I found a couple of boxes of 1975 top football cards in my garage. So that's basically how I got back into it. Yeah, take a look at whatever you like to take a look at. Okay, so you, I, I mean, I, we came into this and he's been talking up the Tom Brady collection that you have, which is insane, right? Are you, you a big Tom Brady collector? Yeah, it's, it's, I don't have rookie stuff. It's mainly Topps Chrome from about 2003 to 2015, and then they stopped making it. Mainly PSA 10s. Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm preparing myself to get overly excited here. We don't see a lot of really good football collections like this. So we might be in for a little treat here. And then over here, um, a bunch of ungraded stuff. I think the 2013 Super is out there somewhere. That's what somebody had told me, but I, I don't know where it is. I don't know what that would go for. No idea. A lot. Well, probably less now than it would have three months ago, but yeah. it's right. crazy. It's, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that with this card that I bought a year ago. It finally came up for sale. I was looking for it for six, seven years. I bought it, and now it's down about 70%. It's right. a game we play, right? That's yeah, right. it's yeah. a game we play, I right? I bought it too. Yeah, I, I had to. Yeah. I mean, it took forever to find it, so. Well, this is not just a rainbow. This is a PSA 10 rainbow. The PSA is, 10 like, That makes rainbow. it even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think as a set, it's worth more. What do you think that's worth right there? I, I really don't know. I think that 
I and Tyler should concentrate on trying to pick players that regardless of what the market does, we pick the right players that will withstand the test of time. I, I, I don't, I, I'd say now the way everything is down, I could probably get 20 grand for it. Yeah. But before it was up, I mean, the this was going for about 15 and this was going for about 12, but not anymore. So Yikes. if he wins the Super Bowl, I think it jumps back up, but you, know, you never know. You know, it's, well, I've yeah. had it for this long, I'll just hang on to it, you know. I want to try and pick it all up if he if he'll let us. I, I don't think he'll let us walk out with the whole thing, so. But, Would you try? Uh, Seriously, would you try to make an offer on them? I mean, I want them all, so I'm gonna try. You know, I really haven't sold that much. You know, I've sold a little bit, but not not all that much. You know, so. But I'll sell you guys some stuff today. Whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna take a look at. You know, and tell me what you're interested in. Now with inflation and the food prices being the way they are right now, I've noticed that the tops. Uh, Chrome Tom Brady cards have dropped at least 50 to 60, 65 percent over the last year or so. Yeah, it's it's a lot of uh, tops. It's mainly tops Chrome stuff. You know, uh, let's see who else do I have. I have uh, you know some Matthew Stafford, Aaron Rodgers. There. Oh boy. Yeah, I've. You're not messing around. The Russell Wilson stuff at one point, I had about half the population on every color except the, the gold and the, the reds, but. I mean, just this, hand, the, and the handful alone, right? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Two reds, a camo, or a refractor auto. Oh. I learned that you, the first year that somebody comes out as a rookie, um, like what I did in 2012, I, I had read an article that said, buy quarterbacks and if they're rookies, a bunch of them coming out in one year. If you can get them fairly cheap, just just buy them. And hopefully one of those guys hits. And in 2012, it ended up being Russell Wilson. I thought it was gonna be Andrew Luck. I have a ton of Andrew Luck stuff, nothing. Um, but Kirk Cousins is doing pretty well. And uh, Ryan Tannehill is doing pretty well. Yeah, it's mainly, it's mainly quarterbacks except for uh, Rob Gronkowski. Yeah, this is the Gronk Super Fractor, uh, his rookie year. And uh, I got hired by a company in 2003 and I was a new hire training. And one of the guys I got to know in training, who I still work with today, was telling me about all his nephews, how they're gonna be in the NFL so someday, you know? And I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know, we'll, we'll see about that. Well, one of them ended up being Grunk, you know? So um, I think it was 2012 that, uh, was for sale on eBay, so I, I bought it. I got that for uh, 500 bucks, 500, $510, yeah. I've sent in a bunch of cards to P PSA, and I'm usually within, well, most of these I already bought tens. Oh, okay. But I'm usually maybe a grade off. Sometimes, you know, if you think it's gonna be a 10, it ends up being an eight. This came back a five. So I cracked it, and I took it around to different shows and had people look, what do you think? And most of the people were telling me, I'd say it'd come back a nine, some people said a 10, some said, yeah, no worse than an eight. So nobody knows why it came back. And I don't know, I mean, it, it looked perfectly fine. What's, uh, what's your favorite couple cards in the collection that maybe, obviously that one's got some story to it, but anything else that you're like, man, this was a, there's a key moment that I went through to get this card. Um, you know what, no, they're, they're really, just I see them and I like them and I buy them. That's, that's about it. You know, a Blu-ray refractor, for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, back in 2013, yeah. I mean, this, this is the strategy. 2014, and it wasn't that I knew anything, it was just, it was blind luck. Yeah. You know, I like Tom Brady, and what's well, 15, 20 dollars to buy a card, you know? It's just, it's luck, it was all luck. I'm looking to walk away with a stack of Russell Wilsons, a couple of the quarterbacks I think will be in the playoffs. There's crazy good cards in there, like red refractors that you just don't see in the market very often. So I'm kind of anxious to see where he's at with some of those prices. Obviously we love sports cards. We also love technology and technology platforms. And when you can blend the two worlds together, it's a beautiful thing. Well, Loop is a beautiful thing. If you haven't checked out Loop, I encourage you to do so now. 
It is one of the only 24 seven marketplaces that allows you as a collector to go buy packs, boxes, brakes, you name it all the time. Loop is running for your desires in the sports car world. They vet out sellers from hobby shops to normal guys like me who go on there and sell so you can have peace of mind. The best part is they're saying, hey, you watch Chasing Cardboard? We're gonna give you 30 bucks to go spin on the Loop platform. All you have to do is click the link in the top right corner or the link in the show notes and you're gonna get $30 free from Loop. Stop being boring, go try Loop, enjoy. Now, back to the show. Um, did you happen to take a look at what we kind yeah, of pulled out? Yeah, yeah, what'd you guys come up with? Well, let me ask you first, did you, we, anything that you will not sell? Uh, I'm gonna keep this 10, Marcel. Yeah. I think that's the only one I have. And I think, I mean, it depends on, what were you thinking on these? I came up with the 75 auto, last sell was a 1300. Yeah. And the last sell on that was 805. Yeah, yeah I, just, I couldn't, I, I couldn't do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll hang on to these, I think. Okay, and then that, okay, so I gotta pull yeah. those out. Yep. These three I'll hang on to, definitely. Let me, let me redo some math here then. Yeah. Oh, here. Minus one. And I'd love two. to sell them to you, but I, it's, it's just so hard for me when I when I see what these were going for a year and a half ago. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it, yeah. yeah, it's just. We, so we were at 4,600, 4,500 for all of it. That's what we had that market value through the whole table. But you're taking, those are the three big cards. Yeah, yeah. These, uh, and I, I think, it. can you take out, I, I don't know what I paid for that one, so I was gonna take that one out. Because I had 3,650, I took out 2,550 in value. Okay. Okay. In market value. I don't know what you had on yours. So we're, we're now at 1,900. Total, all Total in. market value. So, I mean, I would typically offer you 70% of what you would net on eBay. So, so 1900 And I'll tell would you be, what that math is. So it's 1150 bucks. It's just over 70% of what you would net. For all this. Yep. This, this, and all this stuff. Wow. I, I don't know what I'm into a lot of this stuff for. That's, that's actually what we were talking about. Outside. Yeah, it's like, like some of this I know, so... yeah, this one I'm I'm into for um, like two something, 260 or something like that. Wow. Just for that, yeah. Okay. So. So you want to pull that out then? Well, no, we, I mean, if you, you know what, I'll tell you what, I'll do, if you guys can do 1300, I'll, I'll do all that minus this. If you want to do 1300. Okay. Um about 80% of net, right? Yeah, so, um, how, well, so look, so at 75% of net, right, of eBay net value, that's a really healthy number. And just so you understand what that means, on a $100 card, right, after fees, you would net about $85. If I, if we pay you 75%, 60, let's just call it $64, right? $65. So there's only $20 per hundred that Herman and I can make. Right. Um, you're not leaving a lot on the table and you're... Well, like for this one, what, what did you come up for with the black? Yeah. I know what I'm into that for. I'm into that for like 260 bucks. That's what I had to. Yeah, that's what I'm into it for. Yeah. And I, you know, so. So you're, yeah, for you, it's like you're just breaking yeah. and, and this stuff. But what did you find for the, the black? I, I thought I just saw the black on there. Raw went like in September. The last one that I could find for like 600 bucks. Oh, okay, I didn't have it at that. I had it at 225. Yeah, and that's, that's probably right, but yeah, so. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at it different than Marcel because yeah, it's going right. to PC for me versus store for oh, you. Yeah, and yeah. look, uh, listen, I, 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 um, I'm okay uh, with whatever you decide. I mean, yeah, I think 13 is more than fair. If you're, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, that. I'll do 13 for for all this. Yeah, I mean, except for these right here. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. Uh, yeah, that, that 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 works for me. Okay. Because yeah, I still make some money. Sure, you go to that? I'm good. And I don't know what these go for. I mean, you might be able to get 400 bucks a piece for these. But, you know, I, I have a bunch of them. No, I, I'm serious, yeah. I, I don't know. There's only 200 of them, 
So, yeah. you know, I think that's that's good. That's a good. Yeah. Okay, I all appreciate right. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. I like it. Cool. Well, thank you, Rob. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Thanks. I really appreciate oh, thanks it. Thanks a yeah. lot, Rob. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Always good seeing you. Always. Thank you. Guys, will see each other again. I'll see you this week. <laughs> yeah. He's a great guy. His collection is one of a kind, and it just shows what you can do in this hobby if you buy what you like and you stick with it. And sometimes the stars align, and you end up with a collection with, like you know, like Rob. Yeah. So. Do you love yourself some chasing cardboard? Well, go grab one of our brand new T-shirts. They're extremely soft, beautifully designed, and ready for your collection. Click the link in the top right corner or in the show notes below. Okay, so we're pulled up to see Dexter, who I connected with over Instagram the collection. Okay. I haven't really prepped you on this yet. No. <laughs> it's a modern day. No, but I've heard basketball. about the card, so. Uh, I'm excited about this one. Uh, this is one of those like rare, I, I didn't have a lot of conversations with him, just one, and we sent some information back and forth. Has the potential to be something that we haven't seen a lot of, which is modern day, like late 90s, early 2000s, solid basketball cards. Hey, hey. Welcome to the West Side, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the West Side. <laughs> you must be Dexter, huh? Hey, yes, Dexter? Sir, yes, sir. Thanks for having us out, man. Yes, sir. How, How are you? Good, He's baby Dexter. Dexter Jr. is in Sacramento. All my sons is Dexter's. He's Devin Dexter. So I'm okay. Big Dexter, and then it's Little Dexter, then it's Baby Dexter, then it's Devin Dexter, and this is this is my right hand, my cousin, Big Omar, Big Ol' Mizzy. <laughs> well, I'm from Inland Empire, born and raised in Rialto, San Bernardino. Rialto, San Bernardino is like brothers and brothers with the cities. Um, been out here all my life. Uh, you know, I love my kids. I was I was the ex-playboy back in my day. I got 10 lovely kids, uh, seven girls, three boys. Uh, all my kids mostly were in the sports. I made sure that was in there because back in, in my days, when we were young, I mean, you were either gonna be an athlete or entertainer. So sports and uh, entertaining was the main goal of a lot of us. And sometimes it doesn't work like that, but you know, we're alive and we appreciate everything. You know, one thing is about America, it gives everybody a chance. So I love it. White Chocolate Denzel. You know why I call him that? I call him White Chocolate Denzel because people be offering cars that ain't worth brown toilet paper, but he keeps his face straight. I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that. I'm not, see, I'm not seeing brown toilet paper today though, right? See, before that, you leave, you gotta say, Kong ain't got nothing on me one time, man. You gotta stick him over. man. <laughs> White Chocolate Denzel cousin. Everybody give him a hand of applause. Yes, I love it, baby. So this, I, I used to collect uh, all kinds of, I'm a sports fanatic. All of us are sports fanatics. You know, our okay. whole generations. My boy Mizzy, all his people, my sons, everybody. So he kind of helped me get some input on this. So we collect all kinds of sports stuff. Like for example, when's the last time you saw that? 65 Sporting News. There you go, pretty as heck. And so, you know, <laughs> then we got the Michael Jordans, stuff like that. Now, this is the thing I'm gonna ask a question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give yeah. you guys a question. Who's the greatest basketball player in your mind of all time. Now listen to the question. Basketball player. Okay. Who you say? I'm gonna test you. I'm gonna test your mind and see. Because I'm, I'm gonna give you the answer. In my opinion. Uh, Pete Maravich. Okay, I can respect that. Who you got? Most people say Pete uh, or Jordan. Okay. Cameraman, you want in on this one? It's a trick answer. I was gonna say Jordan, but it's a trick okay, answer. Now, you got something what if else. I tell you this? This is the thing is that people don't realize. What if I tell you that there was a man? that was so dominant that they banned him from dunking. That's who the greatest basketball player is. You know who that is? Oh, who is it? The greatest basketball player of all time is Lou Alcindor, better known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Mm -hmm. Look it up. They banned him from dunking his last three years because he dominated so much. And as a freshman in college, you weren't allowed to play on the college team. The UCLA team beat everybody but they couldn't beat the freshman team. That's how bad he was. Outside, that's El Cinder in the low post left against Moore. He was Dexter was spot on. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, also known as Lou Al Cinder, was a bad, bad man. He played in the NBA until he was 42, and he racked up over 38,000 points in that time. His 1969 Topps rookie card is one of the most sought-after basketball cards by collectors. If you can find that card in good condition, get it graded because the value of that card will always be strong and hold great value. 
and there's not a whole lot out there. Um, I probably started collecting probably about 2006, 2007. Because I started off with um, going to the storage things and bidding on storages. And in those storages, you actually find a lot of treasures that's shocking, especially out here in this county of San Diego that a lot of people have forgotten about. All right, so you got a lot of different things here. What, what's the story of you collecting? Because it sounds like you got a rich history in this. Well, back in probably like about maybe 2006, um, I had a friend that had talked me into investing into uh, storage lockers. And so I was like, okay, you know, and at then that was in my pet bull days. So the first thing I saw was um, they had the treadmills and I was like, Ooh, yeah, you know, cause you get your pet bulls in shape or whatever. Get my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. So we saw one with a whole lot of sports stuff in it. And so we bid on it. We got it for like about $400 and got the treadmill and it was some little um, bags or whatever like that. And then in the back, it was some boxes and it was um, full of comic books. And so he's like, oh yeah, he got off. I said, do I look like Big Bird? Do I look like I need to be on Sesame Street or something? <laughs> you know, I wanted some, you know, I wanted some, something I was gonna use. But he said, no, you don't understand. This is worth money. And so when I looked into it, it was, I, it was shocking. And so the thing that people don't realize is uh, comic books and sports cards are almost like oil and water. They might not mix, but you gotta have oil and water to make cake. So that's the thing is, is that is when you put them together, I'm like, okay, if I put them together, maybe I could do something with it. Okay, so first impressions of Dexter and family and friend is I love the energy. It's just refreshing so cool. to yeah, be around the energy. Guys. When did you get your first few cars thinking, oh boy, um, this, is, this is cool. The, 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 the thing that's so crazy is in that box was the 1986 Fleer. I didn't know it. Okay. I swear. It was in my little put up something for like six years. I didn't even think about it. And um, all of a sudden I was watching this commercial or I mean something on YouTube and there was a guy, he was, oh my God, oh my God, I got it. And I said, I said, wait a minute, you know, let me look it up and see what I got. So I went in there and I, I was almost like him. I was shaking and you know, I was like, wow, I didn't know. Cause I thought it was just comic books and I did the, the sports thing cause I like sports. People forget about the past of a lot of things and cards and comic books celebrate the past of a lot of things, you know, from Babe Ruth to Hulk, Superman. Um, you can never forget about the past. Once you forget about the past, you don't have a root to of everything where it started from. So I enjoyed it all. This is from, you check this out. Go ahead. Yes, it's bragging as heck, but this is from, I guess when, you all this is USC stuff. From um, God knows what, you know, 1920s and whoever the person was. I'm pretty sure they're resting in peace now, but hey, I love it. I love the book. I bought it. Bought that from a yard sale. Wow. This one is right, pretty sad one. This is a sad one about a guy who was in the Kore Korean War. So he had all kinds of news. Yeah, go ahead and check it out. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's. I just collected stuff that was just old and, yeah, go ahead. This, this you sure? Yeah, yeah, man, go ahead. Man. Check it out. So you tell me what you think. It's, it's wow. Yeah, right. It shocked me too. The yeah. It's crazy, like the dust coming off this. It's Man, like eight years old, right? And that, and 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 a hey, salute to all the military people. They're the heroes of this country, man. So I was like, okay, I gotta keep. Yeah. That's amazing. He has really good instincts about the stuff that he's finding. He's got the vintage. He's got some modern. He's got everything in between. He's picked up things in collections and garages around here that most people would glance over. He's picked it out and put it away. Pretty impressed. But it's a lot of things here. If you if you shop around in San Diego, Riverside too, Marino Valley, all the area, you'll find a lot of classic stuff, man. I promise you that. I promise you that. Because um, people collect stuff and don't even know what's worth it. Yeah. Dexter brings up a great point. For years, people have been collecting stuff or junk, which it seems now. But a lot of the collectible stuff has bigger value now than ever before. So don't ignore those annoying garage sale signs posted all over your neighborhood. One man's trash is another man's treasure. To be honest with you, athletes around San Bernardino are like buying grapefruit. They're everywhere. But because we're that part of San Bernardino that don't, people don't come out a lot, it's like, you gotta realize this Ronnie Lott came from here, Reggie Miller, um, Grant, uh, Madison. Brian Russell. Brian Russell, Madison, that's Brian Russell's good friend right there. And listen, America, America, I'm gonna say it for him. It, he pushed. <laughs> <laughs> Replay that clip right now. Ship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips, and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. 
Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. The referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is he has all the tricks. That's why it's so difficult to guard him. One of the best parts about the cars that we get in consignments is that we get to put them in our eBay marketplace. And the best part is eBay now provides a service called the eBay Vault that allows you as a buyer to go take these cards and put them in your secure environment. So if you're looking for cards and you want to put them in a vault and you're thinking about maybe selling those cards in the future, take advantage of the eBay Vault. Lower transaction costs, low friction, and an ease of transaction that doesn't exist anywhere else. Go find these cards and put them in your eBay Vault today. Click the link in the top right corner. Now, back to the show. Okay, first is my boy Ole Mizzy right here. This was, oh man, he's he's a legend out here. You know what I mean? You gotta realize there's anybody that's coming up from the kids, yeah. if you don't know Ole Mizzy, you don't know nothing. Go ahead, break it down. I'm just a football coach, that's, that's all. I saw. Mean, nah, I mean, What's up with the whole, whole culture? What is that? Hope culture, uh, this is a nonprofit here in San Bernardino. Uh, I, I do work with them, I work for whole, whole culture. Hmm. Uh, we do mentoring. Gang intervention, prevention, we just do everything. We do uh, outreach and this is part of Victory Outreach. So this is the DBA doing business as Hope Culture. Hmm. Out here, you gotta realize that the politicians, they help out for a reason. These coaches like Omar and all these other volunteer coaches for Little East, they don't get paid nothing. Is that they keep these kids from joining the wrong crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as much as they go through, cause they gotta deal with kids with problems and some of the parents, um, I think we just need to give more appreciation to them. Mm. You know what I mean? Because without them, oh my God, it'd be a hot mess. All right, so you're gonna start wowing me with some stuff? So let me uh, get to the main thing here. So I have a... Oh, hi. Right, there you go. You know who this guy is, right? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. This, this is six, but it's, it's this cat right here. So basically, let me see here. It starts from all lined up, all in order, all in order. Okay. So again, these are cars that you've got from just purchasing yes. garage units and storages, all that stuff. You know, hey, okay. as is. Yes, sir. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Look at it. See, see, when you make when you make when you make Denzel smile, that's a thumbs up right there. He keeps calling me the white Denzel Washington. Hey, I'll take it. That's Jay Ewing. Your Jordan's graded though, right? Everything is raw. As is. I thought that Jordan would be on a plaque ready for... Mm -mm, for no, 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 no. Everything is raw. And not only is the 86 for you, you see? You see? <laughs> you see? You see? Oh, boy. Ooh, uh, oh! He said, oh, boy. There it is. That is a monster. So you you got this car. Did you know? Like you said you didn't know for some of us because you saw the stuff on TV. Right, and right, YouTube. right. It was I, I got it because it came in the storage thing. This is my boy, one of the boys from San Bernardino. San Bernardino, Brian Russell. We give a shout out to him, man. He always he's from San Bernardino High School. We love him to death. My boy, that's his partner right there. Let me see if we can make that call, man. You, you call him up? Yeah, Brian Russell, that's my guy. Why yes, sir. He would have been here, but he had to go take us a visit. So we're gonna we're gonna see what that's up. With. What's up, baby? Here we go. There you go. Man, what it do? I don't see y'all though. Can't see us? <laughs> What's up, Pippin? Go. What's up, man? This is my guy from YouTube right here. Hey, how's it going, man? How are... We're talking about. We're talking sports cars. Hey, remember this car? <laughs> so these guys from YouTube, they're, they're the ones the gray car to come get. They come to get them. Even this one. No man, we're just talking about yourself. I collected your cards growing up, so it's fun. It's fun to connect, man. I appreciate it. Hey, hey, tell him. I said on the card, I wanted to say he pushed me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you use the cameras in your face, right? Oh man. <laughs> All right, brother. I'll call you later. All right, one love. Yeah. All right, see, welcome to the West Side, people. <laughs> That's welcome cool. Welcome to the West Side. That's welcome to the cool. West Side. That's a first. Calling a former NBA player on an episode. <laughs> Man, come on, that was that was great. That was cool. What do you think about the collection so far? Basketball's not your world, yeah. but there's other stuff. What do, you, what do you think? Collection is gnarly. I mean, so many good cards, and he's got a set and a half of the Fleer, is what he said. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I saw supposedly he's got a, a magic rookie in there, mm -hmm. bird rookie. I th think he's got a Luol Cinder rookie somewhere in there. There's some really nice cards, and they all seem to be in pretty good condition. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So -so. Oh. Tyler's happy. I'm happy. Ooh, okay, let's keep rolling. Okay, all right. Oh, A Rod. It's, it's, everything in this garage is, is something. It's always something. Hmm. So all the boxes up there are rookies, or to say a series of something. So I'm processing, processing things right now. It's Taking it all in. Brain. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You go ahead, Denzel. I'm not mad at you, man. <laughs> There's probably 50 to 60 cars that I've already set aside to purchase from Dexter, but as I was going through this, Dexter let me know he wants to sell everything in one transaction. This definitely changes the way that I have to look at this. Do you have a number in mind for all of it? And I, I just I had to figure out the logistics of not, that, but I want to know. Really, where you're I'm at. open. I'm open. That's the thing okay. I'm saying because I know you got to make money. Um, I just I don't want all the slices of the apple pie. I just want a little bit. Let me try to run the numbers on the big stuff. Okay. So I got an idea of where we're at with the big stuff. Right, 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 right. Small stuff will take care of itself. I'll figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like the big stuff, let me just make sure that we're on the same page. Okay. And if we're not even close, we're not even close. Okay. What if we can get Because everybody close? wants the 86 foot. I know that. I know that part. Um, okay. Yeah. But okay, so are you cool with that? Can I just spend the next few minutes just kind of like, let's write some no notes down? Yeah, go ahead. Just... Do your thing. Do your okay. thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've spent the last two hours running numbers, writing spreadsheets together, uh, and just coming up with an offer that we think is fair. Here, the problem with this particular collection right now is we didn't necessarily want everything, and so we're trying to figure out a compromise to take everything and maybe pay for things that we didn't want. Uh, these are, there's some great stuff in there. You got a Jordan rookie that we think will probably grade a two or a three. Um, you got some other great vintage. We're going to see if we can somehow help him understand the type of work that will go into selling this type of stuff especially the stuff that we just don't really want. We came up with both of our market value assumptions. The unknown in this collection is the Jordan, because first off, it's got to authenticate, which I'm, I think it will. It looks good to me. You agree it looks good. I think it grades a two. In a two, what do you think a two Jordan goes for? Just take About a $2,000. You, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, my market value and Marcel's market value within about 1,500 bucks of each other. I think there's about a $10,000 market value in your stuff. Mm -hmm. Which means if we're offering you straight up cash, it's gotta be 60% of that for us to even have room. Mm. But, so I, I'm proposing we give you 6,000 bucks and I give you 20% of any value of the Jordan that grades over a two. So if it grades a five and I sell it, I give you a 20% cut of what it sells for. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, let me think about it for a while because I got other people just still mingling or whatever. Um, you know, and if, you know, if everything's all right, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Definitely. You, you don't seem happy with that. Uh, it's, hey, it is what it is. You got to understand it's, it's, um, it's business. It's nothing about how, how happy or not, it's, it's business. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't, I can't be personally involved with business it's, it is what it is if you say hey it's six thousand dollars that's six thousand dollars yeah but at the same time is i gotta see if anybody wants to be, to match that okay if anybody wants to beat that okay so very understandable very very understandable okay uh, I, I just want to help you understand our frame of reference too a lot of this stuff will take months and months to move oh definitely, definitely. Uh, you know that yeah definitely Definitely. There's some great stuff. Because you guys are going through the grading, and I don't want to do it all because I know yeah. it's time consuming. So I, I, we're factoring probably 100, 150 cards that we would grade. Right. That's right. about four to $5,000 in grading fees. So we're up 15 k at that point. So I'm trying to measure all of that. Right, right, right. It's right. not meant to undercut you. It's meant to make sure we do all right with our time. Right. No, I totally understand. I get it. Yeah. As much as you guys get classics, if somebody offers you a 1986 for your set, I'll be shocked. Agreed. So I valued your Jordan at 2K, and I valued the rest of your cards at 1,500. So right. the but majority of my value is 86, 87. At so the Barclay, you got to understand is, is the Barclays and everything else too. I don't know, because I, I admit I messed up with the Jordan, but the Barclays, the Lajuans, I don't even believe in grading, but you know, 
Heritage, yeah, what they what they said they could do with the '86 flea was a little, little, little. Give me a little piece of the pie. And they, yeah. they they only want that. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, but I, I respect your opinion. Hey, I, I totally get it. I totally because I like I said I'm not a guard professional, a car professional. Yeah. You know I was more into the comic things, but yeah, hey, I totally respect it. But like they say, not two people got the 1986 Fleer set. Yeah. So hey, I respect it. Yeah, but you know. So, so you, what I'm hearing is no, not on the 6K plus nah, condition. No, nah, not yet, not yet. Do you have a counter? Do you have something that you were hoping? Um. Well, once I get. With, with, with people, I've been offered more just to just straight sell that, but they, they don't. I want to just get rid of all of it, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I just want to get just get be done with it, be done with it. I was hoping for the Sports Illustrated, the comics. The, I mean, oh, uh, every you want everything, everything out of here, right? Right, right, right. Because not two people got the Mickey Man and Lowe's, the Marilyn Monroe's, but I respect it. You know, you guys only collect cards, so I totally get it. But, um, but I totally respect you guys. Thing. You guys got to make some money. I get it, I totally get it. Okay, so no counter. No. Not, not close enough to where you want to be. No. I love your stuff. You uh, you know I have to disconnect my emotional attachment. Yeah, versus right. Versus the business. reality of what it will sell it's, it's, for. It's, it's business. It's uh, business. It's business. Okay, well, then yeah. we'll just, I guess, stay hey, in touch. Totally respect it. I appreciate it. I really right. appreciate your time. Ah. Yeah. You guys have a good job. And he's, that's still my Denzel, man. It's my partner <laughs> right here, man. King Kong ain't got nothing on this brother right here, man. Y'all have a good day, baby. Thank you. All Thank right, you man. so much. Yes, sir. Thank yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all be good. Y'all be good. Thank you, man. Peace. Yeah, me and uh, WCD, we kind of didn't see eye to eye on the price, you know, but I still love me some Denzel. Holla at your boy, man. You know, so if you want to get in contact with me, go through Ty. Um, he's a very fair guy. He gave me a good offer. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he can handle, go through him, because he can handle, he knows what I want and what I'm seeing eye to eye with. I love their hospitality. He treated me good, gave me a fair price. He gave me knowledge about my cars that I did not know, you know. Um, so I really appreciate it. Going to your games? Mm -hmm. Good luck. We saw all ends of the spectrum on this trip. From Rob, who knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish with his collecting, to Dexter, who caught the hobby bug through some incredible storage unit buys. At Rob's, we walked away with some beautiful football cars, but we couldn't quite navigate the economics with Dexter. We wanted to negotiate on a few key cars, but ultimately, he wanted to sell everything in his garage. The reality is some of these larger transactions require just the right buyer at just the right time. I'm confident there's a collector out there who's going to get the pleasure of closing a deal with Dexter. Keep chasing.